So I'll just um, continue on from the last video. And we are just sort of coming into the floor there. Shouldn't really matter, it is only a blocking volume, but I just like being pedantic. So with that done, I'm going to select this top. And what I might do is I'll actually bring this down just so that it's covering up those folded down claws or for the most part. And what I want is for the actual outer edge to be able to sort of act as a lip for the character to step up on. And uh, now what I'm going to do in order to cover the rest of this mesh is I'm going to extrude up. So I'll extrude up to uh, to about here and go back to edit. I'm just going to change to scale mode. Scale. Oh. Have to be careful with that. And I think I've lost it. Yep. Now, uh, hopefully we can undo. No. Okay. Good. Alright. Now let's uh, try this with a little bit more gentility. And hopefully we don't do the same thing again. I'm scaling the whole thing. Hang on. And I think I see what the problem is. It's because we're overlapping with these um, these edges here. So what I'll now do is I'll select these edges and oops, using my controls there. That was clever. And I'll just bring this back up to something like 16. And go into there. And I might just um, change viewports just so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. every time there we go and now if we look at it in perspective okay so let's see if that works. So I'm just going to go back to camera and I'm just going to add in the blocking volume now and if I need to adjust it, um, all that I'll need to uh, do is to, to adjust this actual blocking volume. So let's see how we go with this collision. Yep, that looks pretty good to me. That'll do fine. Now we just need to uh, speed up that animation a bit so we don't get caught, or the claw doesn't get caught um, opening while we're running towards it. So rather than retime the animation in here, I'm just going to come to the play rate here and I'm going to set this to 2. 
just to make it twice as fast. And now what we need is for the player to actually get the um, I shouldn't do that, that's bad practice uh, is to actually get the um, link gun when they uh, actually go through this skeletal mesh. So I'm just going to right click here and add actor and add another trigger and for some reason it's put it in the middle of space like that I'm just going to bring this down so that it more or less fits in the middle of these claws here Mm. There we go. I love fiddling around and making sure that everything's lined up nicely. Which of course makes for very boring videos. But anyway. It's my problem. I'm working on it. And so now uh, I'm going to have a new, um, a new event using Trigger 3 Touch and uh, what I'm going to trigger with this um, with this touch, with this, uh, with this trigger event is um, under Pawn Give Inventory and so I'm going to give the player the inventory of uh, and we'll add a new entry under the inventory list and I'll just make it the link gun and I will also set max trigger count to zero. Yes, I remembered. Okay, so let's see if that works. So you can see that we have the um, the black trick, the black link gun, and the black link gun doesn't have very much range. It only goes to about that sort of point halfway to the wall. And now, if we uh, grab this and it does nothing perfect it's a waste of three videos